I've just decided to start filming this as I am um, got into the job and I thought it might make an interesting video for some of you out there so basically I've got this uh, radiator it's off of a 2017 SLK the radiator from Mercedes was 500 quid plus VAT so it takes up to about 600 pound altogether problem being is it's got a crack here and I've already um, started preparing this for repair so basically what I've done is used a Dremel, cleaned out the crack and then rubbed it over with a bit of um, 120 uh, wet or dry. Now I don't have the material to uh, repair this so what I've done is I've cut these little fins, taken a little bit off of them, you can see there where I've gone, taken a little bit of material there and that's what I'm going to use to fill up this crack here. I went out and bought myself um, this thing which is a plastic welding gun it's a gas powered they do electrical ones as well but I like the portability and what I've done I've cut a piece of mesh come in the kit with this it was only 70 quid well worth it so I've cut a piece of mesh just to cover the whole side the whole area of the crack what I want to do is reinforce the crack before I do anything else just heating this up and pressing the mesh into the crack it may well be that I'm running out of gas in this little machine So I've managed to get all the mesh melted into the plastic here. That looks quite nice as it is. Now what I'm going to do is use my little plastic pieces which I've managed to cut off of areas of this radiator as you see there. And now I'm going to melt them and spread them all over this to reinforce it. Right, I've run out of uh, material to weld, so I found a, like a little lip on the radiator. Oops. Anyway, just here. So what I want to do is just take a little bit of that. That's not going to compromise the radiator at all, and no one will know that it's gone. All I'll do is just use my uh, multi-tool. chunk there so I can grab a little bit more from here there you go two good bits so that will reinforce the area which I'm welding even more so and although the area is probably the repair is quite good as it is I'm just wanting to be more sure than ever because I'm going to stick this in my car and uh, I never want it to burst while I'm driving right so there's the 
cracked radiator now repaired it's not the prettiest thing in the world i might give it a little rub down and make it look nice not that this area is going to, ever going to be seen but i think for my own satisfaction i'll clean it up a little and then uh, get it on the car all right that's it rubbed down looks a little bit nicer and just because i am a little bit ocd with little things like this bit of satin black just to make it look a bit more finished as i say not that anyone's ever going to see it because it's buried under a heap of plastic covers and god knows what I'm fairly confident of this, as I say, it's going into my car and uh, I wouldn't take this chance if I didn't think it's going to work. Car's in a salvage yard at the moment, it's not salvage, the car's in a garage at the moment getting repaired. I bought it salvage and um, I'm just waiting to come out of the uh, jiggers and then I can whack this on and uh, start it up and test it.